It's easy to sharpen a good pair of Japanese shears if you have the right equipment and you know how, but it is hard to sharpen the cheap scissors. Bob sent me a pair of really cheap left-handed shears. They would not cut hair. They had an awful looking edge on them, and when we looked at the right line, it just really looked wonky. So, I began sharpening them like I usually would. I took them apart, I worked the ride line, and you're going to see me struggling with this ride line. I'm having to go over and over and over it. There's an area near the pivot that I have to work up in the corner of my stone in order to get a smooth ride line all the way down. Then when I go to the machine, I have to switch it over for a left-handed shear. I make sure that I'm going in the opposite direction, and I'm setting it at a 45 degree angle. But I'm not getting a burr. I decided I might need to check and see what the actual angle is on these shears. So I use my usual scratch test. I go through, I mark it with a red sharpie, and I discover that the shears are really at a 40 degree angle, not 45. Do you see where the red sharpie mark has been removed and where it still stays behind? There's red right along the edge, which tells me that the angle that's on these shears now is less than the angle I've been sharpening them at. So, do I go down to a 40 or do I leave them at 45? I made the decision to leave them at 45 and therefore I needed to use a more abrasive material and I'm still having difficulty getting a burr. I've worked this quite longer than what you're seeing on this video. Even though it's speeded up, I've edited it out a lot and I'm checking constantly to see if I have a burr. It's a difficulty getting and feeling the burr at the tip, so always use your finger on your left hand. It's a little bit more sensitive. Now that I have the burr, I'm going down to a smoother grit to get some of the scratches out, to give it a smoother edge. Then I'm removing the burr as in my usual fashion on my water stone. I'm using a 2000 grit water stone here. This is the one that I originally put my ride line down with. I go to the polish and I like to set my clamp a little bit higher so I don't roll over my edge and I'm checking it and polishing it and I'm a little frustrated because it's still feeling rough. There's still a little edginess there to it. Even my nail buffer is not getting it. This is always the problem with cheaper scissors. They're just harder uh, to sharpen. It just You have to go through more steps. It takes longer and they didn't pay much for them anyway. I'm continuing to polish and I'm continuing to have this issue. So I decided to go back to my 800 grid. It's a worn 800. And I change my clamp so that I'm a slightly blunter. I'm not all the way down to 40 degree angle. I'm probably at a 43. I'm going to pull up a burr. And I'm not going to go to the polishing after I pull my burr up this time. I'm going to immediately go ahead and put the shears together. And, and I'm cutting the burr off on a paper towel. I f can feel it smoother. I double check the adjustment and then I test on dry tissue first and then I test on wet tissue and then just to be sure I'm going to cut some hair and see how it compares to the original way it cut. Ooh, it cuts nice. So I need to round off the tip a little bit and make sure it's not scratchy. That's the final step. After that I'm oiling the shears final inspection and then I pack them up to send to Bob. Thank you for sending me these shears so that I can show you how we correct a sharpening on a cheap pair of shears. I gave you a really quick synopsis of how I deal with cheap shears. If you want complete instructions on sharpening shears you can go to our website Benika.com. You can come to us for training. And these are some additional videos I suggest that you watch. Do you charge the same for cheap shears as you do for the expensive ones? Let us know. Please subscribe, please like us, and give us comments. And I hope you'll stay sharp and prosper.